artistic and different. I wouldn't have had this opportunity to create this community. A show in the Winnipeg Fringe Festival is offering experiences to those living with disabilities front and center. And the show offering opportunities on and off stage as it's produced by an entire cast that themselves are living with disabilities. I've never felt more autistic than I do right now. Adam Schwartz has been doing comedy for over a decade. His first show at the Fringe Festival was back in 2014 and he has been participating every year since then. I'm thrilled by uh, getting all these opportunities to put on my shows at Fringe. Last year, Schwartz co-produced a show called Neuro Hilarity, which featured neurodiverse comics like himself. This year, in addition to Neuro Hilarity, he is fronting a new Fringe show titled How I Met My First Neurodivergent Friend, a comedic storytelling show featuring an autistic cast and crew. It teaches people about autism and uh, neurodiversity, not through uh, telling people that they should be kinder but showing how I could have should have been kinder and how I missed out on opportunities to make uh, really awesome friends. Schwartz says growing up he separated himself from people who were different because he wanted to fit in but realized it had the opposite effect on him. With this production he wants to show that it's okay to be different. The best way of educating people about uh, disability and uh, being neurodivergent is through humor because if you try to approach it head on people get their guard up but if you approach it uh, indirectly by uh, showing the comedic side of it, you're able to connect a lot more with people. The Winnipeg Fringe is like the perfect place to put diversity into into shows. In this year's festival, there are 143 shows with more than 1,200 performances. Festival manager Tori Pop says anyone can participate and do any kind of show, which offers a wide range of genres of shows throughout the festival. We have a lot of shows that center around queerness or trans rights or um, neurodivergence, and uh, it's just a great way to be able to get that information out to the out to audiences. Pop says the festival lineup offers plenty of opportunities to learn new things. If you've never seen a trans performer before, coming to one of their shows, you will be well educated in what their life is like. Schwartz is looking forward to connecting with audiences in 15 shows throughout the festival, which runs until July 30th. I feel like I've made a big difference by being able to help people and hopefully uh, people who were going through the same things that I went to, through as a child and a teenager and hopefully they won't go through the same things of feeling all alone the way I did. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa City News. In 